Hey everyone and welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today we're going to be trying to fix this old cracked and faded paint on my E60 BMW with just a few common tools that are available to you at home. This is kind of a last ditch effort for me because I really don't want to repaint the entire car but I think we should be able to hopefully make this paint look better and in doing so we're improving the value of this car and just making it look better to drive on the road. So without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. Now I did just give the car an old fashioned wash and that was enough to get the paint really clean because now we're gonna start working on the paint and specifically we're gonna focus on the trunk here because the trunk and the hood are damaged and a little bit of the pillars here. So at the end of the day, we can try to make this stuff look better but it's not gonna look perfect by any means at all. And the reason I say that is because not only do we have some of this hazing which is like from the sun but also we have some really deep cracks and that is what I think comes from the car washing and scratching it with like you know your mitt or whatever and then those cracks heating up in the sun and basically expanding so all these micro scratches that were in the car before have now turned into cracks and I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to get that out of the clear coat without damaging the base coat underneath so we're going to try our best today and we also have to remove this spoiler right here I'm scared what we're going to find underneath but the only thing that we can do is remove it so let's Go ahead and get to work. All right, so as you saw, we removed our wing using the fishing line. Now this is my favorite method to use and it's generally pretty effective, but I did get some trouble here on this wing and I think it was because of this silicone glue that was there. And that was a pain to remove because usually I would just use like a rubber grinding wheel like this thing right here. And it's really good at removing the traditional like 3M double-sided adhesive. But when you go ahead and add this like glass silicone adhesive, it's really, really stubborn and it sticks to the clear coat and is really hard to get off. So I used a uh, plastic razor blade just like this thing and try to cut it up and I mean just basically rub it out. And the plastic razor blade is pretty safe on the paint, except at one point I did scrape off a little bit of paint. And after looking closer, I realized that there's certain spots here in the glue, well, next to the glue that have like some texture on the paint. And I think it's from moisture getting into the paint, it feels like, but I guess it's good to see underneath it that there is no rust. So I'm not super worried about there being rust on the trunk here, except for the corners. And I'm not exactly sure how this happened, but you can see that the paint started chipping off and there's some surface rust on the trunk here. So we'll probably have to sand this down at some point, maybe with like a grinding wheel. 
um, and then we're gonna want to seal it and maybe add some touch-up paint that would be the best solution if we're able to save the paint on the trunk today but you know guys I'm not so confident it might just need a full respray here and same thing as the roof as well so we're gonna try to save this trunk and if we can't we might just have to get it painted All right, so now after a ton more time spent trying to get that goo off, and I think the trick was that paint thinner right there, which was able to get the shadowing, the last layer. Uh, but the, the WD-40 trick was really good as well. I, I saw a recommendation of that online, decided to try it, and it definitely loosened up that silicone adhesive sealant is really what it felt like, like a silicone sealant. So what we can do now is mark off half of the trunk and then get to work with sanding it down and eventually polishing it out to try to make it look as good as possible. So what we're gonna be using today is just a few levels of sanding paper and we have 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and then a 3,000 grit polishing pad and that's going to help us get it as flat and smooth as possible before we go to compound now you know me i've used this mcguire's compound so many times in the past and it especially does a great job at restoring headlights but today we're going to be using it on our paint let's go ahead and get to work we have a little spray bottle here usually i'd use this to spray my plants but today we're going to be using it to wet sand so let's go ahead and get to work now and see what happens after these four levels and then we'll get to polishing
And so there you have it. We have our comparison of all this work that we put into the side of the trunk here compared to the original. And I have to say a ton better look. Sitting back from the car, it definitely matches the quarter panel a lot better. There's a really good gloss shine from this trunk now. But when you get closer to it, you can definitely see some of the scratches that are going down. And compared to this side right here, it's a night and day difference. I mean, which one honestly would you guys rather have on the entire car? So it gives us some hope that we can go ahead and polish out the rest of the car and hopefully get this paint looking really good. But it's gonna take a ton of time. As you saw, just the wet sanding and buffing this quarter right here was probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours of work. A lot of stuff that I didn't do on camera, just a few layers of sanding down. And over time, you'll start to wear down that clear coat, but you don't wanna go as far as hitting the base coat. If you do, you'll notice that the color of your paint is gonna start coming up in the particles while you're wet sanding and that's when you want to stop because if you hit that base coat then you're not going to get a good shine like this out of the clear but otherwise once you've sanded it down as much as you feel comfortable with you can use a microfiber polishing pad like i did with some compound and that should take out the rest of those micro scratches that you created i'd say that there's a little bit of sun hazing in the corner still something that we could possibly take out with more and more sanding. But at this point, I think that we put enough effort and we still have to finish this side of the trunk. Also, another thing is that this area right here underneath the spoiler came out really good. All the hazing and the residue that we had left behind came off with a light wet sanding and then polishing it makes it look super smooth again. So like I said, we're definitely gonna go ahead and follow up with this side of the trunk. And then eventually when I have time, we'll do the roof as well. That's gonna be a pain in the butt because of course it's an awkward angle being on top of the car, probably gonna have to get a stool to get up there and it's gonna require a few hours of sanding guys, a lot of time, something that I'll do on my own time. And hopefully this has inspired you guys at home and maybe you guys can save the faded paint on your car at home as well. So that's gonna conclude our video for today and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Obviously there is a trade off between getting pieces painted when you have damaged paint like this or trying to save it. Sometimes it's too far gone like the spoiler on my 335i wagon. That clear coat was pretty far past where this clear coat is now. I think we got lucky with this being able to wet sand it and make it look glossy again, but it's not a perfect finish. And we still have those little uh, dings, little rust spots on the side of the trunk to fill in with some touch up paint. And again, it's not gonna look perfect. So hopefully this video helped you guys at home. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. As always, I hope everyone has an amazing day and we will see you in the next video.